doesn't it? it well, yeah, and her job was as basically she was doing data entry and uh, coordinating the shipment of samples to customers, and she was off towards the back of the office. She really didn't have much Where interaction with anyone else. Where a guy could slip in there. Else. Who knows? You get attack, come in with a cloak on well, it. Well, I mean, I don't know. But, uh, you know, there are laws that <laughs> prohibit gender and religious discrimination. That's what this case is all about. No woman should be discriminated against because of the size or shape of her breasts, because of the, she's attractive, because men find her too appealing. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go to Nikki in California. Nikki. Hi, Dr. Drew. Hi, Gloria. I'm a huge fan. Hi, um, I read the story online this morning, and I had read that they said your boobs were a dangerous distraction. <laughs> well, I guess my just, yes. I don't know if it's a question more as a statement. Like, weren't her boobs there when she was being interviewed for this for this job? That's a good question, Nikki. Of what course. do you, They of were there. They, were. they They weren't put in subsequent to they being employed. There. Okay, fantastic. I, and Gloria, I have trouble, trouble taking these guys seriously that, that were sort of uh, ostracizing her. It well, really, it's too much. It's, well, it's, I mean, I don't know. I'm hope that they're going to learn from this. Uh, apparently, one of the newspapers went over and interviewed a man over there, not the owner necessarily, an unidentified man, who said, well, but the men are married men. Okay, so what? It, they've got to control themselves. I think it was Golda Meir recently, some years, well, not recently, but some years ago, that said, you know, as to rapists, you don't give a curfew for the victims or for women if guys can't control themselves, they're the ones who should be limited, not the women. Okay, fair enough. Betsy in Maryland. Betsy? Hey, you know, I watch her on TV now, and, you know, she's tilting her head back and pushing her breast out and stuff. I mean, what do you expect from people, you know, doing that? Well, why don't you, why, Betsy, address, address Lauren directly. She's right here for you. What do you, what do you want to say to her? I mean, what do, you, what do you want from people that, you know, look at you and you're pushing your head back and you're, you know, pushing your breasts out, and what are we, what are we supposed to expect from you? I mean, what does it matter how I'm sitting? It's, it's basically I, I got discriminated against because how my, my not body. Right now, it's not about. Okay, well, right now I'm on live television. What would okay. you do? In you know, when, when you see yourself on film, so. She just, she, she would beg to say that she's just trying just to. Just trying to look good on camera. I'm just trying to look. Right, exactly. This is how well, I would like to look on camera. So I'm not pushing my boobs out or let's, by any let's, means. Let's go to Kelly in I'm Texas. I'm just sitting at a certain angle. Kelly, I think the people who are boobs are the ones who discriminate. Kelly, what do you got? 